Good evening, and welcome to the latest video with me, Voice of the Forge, and Milkmaid, the Disciplined Priest. Now, as you'll notice, I am level 80, and we have got a few bits and pieces on the ground below us. Today, we are mainly going to be interested in archaeology. Now, it looks like these haven't been touched at all. They have been here for some time. They were here when I was not level 80, and they're still there. So today we are hopefully going to try and get a decent amount of experience through archaeology. Now, archaeology itself is worth a good thousand or so points, and you'll also notice that we've got quite a bit of rest XP. So as we start off, You can see that we've got a six dig site progress, and that one's red. It follows the same standard as in the old world in Kalimdor and Eastern Kingdoms, but what we're hoping for are some goodies. So we're still red, so we're much further down towards the end of this lozenge shaped area. I like archaeology because it gives you a break from levelling and questing. And look at that. Almost spot on there. And we found, oh, Nerubium. Now this is my first Nerubium. Whoa. Okay. That was a lot more than I was expecting there. That was an awful lot more than I was expecting. Um, good choice. Good choice to, 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 to do some levelling with. Um, if they're all like that, then that's 3,000 normal. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, and we're red, but in this direction. So, uh, as you can see, my archaeology is 442, uh, and after you hit, I think, level 75 and level 80, the requirements to actually up your... Mm, uh, top end of the skill is done by level and not by skill. So once you get to uh, level 90, for instance, I can upgrade my skill even if I hadn't upgraded it from now. Obviously, I still have to go out and into the uh, into the world and do the dig sites in order to get my actual skill up. But it does mean that my potential skill uh, from level 75 is only dictated to by level and uh, once again I landed smack on it that is awesome and then this one isn't so quite, quite so far away 6100 uh, I'll try here and we're very close in some instances in low level areas I've dug in one spot dropped my probe and it's been in exactly the same spot. Look how close we were there, a couple of strides off. Uh, that, that's, that's a nice chunk of uh, XP for one go. And we've still got three more to go in this level which will take us up to four, four, seven. This will be one of the reasons why I don't know this area very well. Right, so try and keep a lower profile as possible. Because we don't want to get the PvP people involved. And that is above the cliff. Which suits me fine, because we'll just go up here and charge. And I think I'll plonk him somewhere down here. And you've decided you're all the way over there. Yeah, you're alliance, because that'll be the alliance here. So we'll try on this cliff. And survey says, huzzah! Let's have a little look. 
And again, we're only a couple of paces off. So two more to do in this area. Oh. Let's err on the side of caution first. Head for the path. Where there isn't going to be quite so much fighting. So we'll continue wandering through, and that is some cobalt, and I believe that will still help my mining, even though I've got a couple of points elsewhere, mining is still yellow, so that is good. Now, we didn't get much from the mining, but we've got crystallized earth and cobalt ore, which is always useful, and it's still red. So we're going to be tucked away right in this corner, aren't we? We're going to be tucked right away. And this is one thing I love when you're slightly higher level. Oh, okay, maybe not. When you're slightly higher level than the area you're in, your threat radius is very much reduced. things like this much more fun because you're not always having to constantly wow okay we uh getting some big leaps here I'll try to narrow it down a bit Basically, trying to keep our nose away from him. We've been flying over the artifact that we've indeed been looking for. I'm out of range. And that gives us another five. One more to get in this site. We'll just run and see where this takes us, because when right, so we've been getting a minimum of five. We'll probably need to find another Nerubian site before we find any kind of completion for an artifact, because I bet you will be around about the 40 mark. So it's actually just in the ring. Alright, so that's an Arubian dig site completed. Have I got enough to do any Arubian? No, I'm too off. Too off. And as you can see, I've got some Drenai from Outland as well. Right then, so we now take to the skies once more. This time we fly all the way down here, which probably means we'll end up with Naga, or something. But we're only two, two points off the Rubian artifact. That is shocking. Boo hiss. And given the amount of experience that's given us as well, that's been 
quite a haul. Now this is Riplash something or other. So, oh, is that fish or is that rock? No, that's fish. Imperial Monterey. At the moment I'm looking for squid. But, um... I don't think that's here, I think that's elsewhere. So the Riplash ruins, so we must be looking for Naga. Ooh, interesting. It's in the mist. Right, then this is going to be quite a bit trickier. So we'll see how we get on. This could take us some time. Like that, for instance. So if we go to the first available bit of rock that we can land on, and see what our survey says. It points us back in this direction. And yes, we have been known to find things on top of buildings. So we're still red going around here. And we're pointing in this direction, so if we drop down to roughly about here. Oh, look at that. Almost pinpoint. Bingo. Night Elf. Okay. Um, where is my... What is my Night Elf currently at? 12 out of 35. Okay, so... Night Elf. reason I do that is because I have, in more than one dig site, had three artist artifacts turn up in the same space. So I dig one up, pick it up, strike the survey, and get the next one. That's happened enough times now for me to always check before I move off. Because then it makes it so much more faster. And so much cooler when it looks like you know what you're doing. See, I'm stopping just a couple of paces short in the majority of instances. Oh, Grand Master Archaeologist. Because I've got 450. Ha ha. I'm not going to say no to that. The Achievement Grand Master Archaeologist. I don't know what it is. I enjoy archaeology. I think it's a great skill. It's a good, w good way of um, having a fresh look at some older instances. Right, so that's a red as we're in the building, so we're halfway through the dig site. And we'll drop it on one of these rocks. still red, so 
Still going in the right direction. And oh, managing to get my cursor into the chat box when I'm trying to change the screen angle. Well, I can't see what that is, but it points in that direction. Do you have to get without actually managing to do it? And the bad thing there is that it's actually underwater, which I didn't expect it to do. But that's a, that's a red, and that's that direction. So we shall fly once more over. A lot of people, I suppose, wouldn't like the constant moving around, but because I enjoy the puzzle aspect of it. Right, and that's still quite a slow red blink as well, so that's quite a way away. So we'll fly over to buildings again, into this area. Where we were before. When the computer decides to catch up. Thank you. And that puts us yellow. Which wasn't a bad guess, was it? checking it straight away because we were virtually on top of the last one so that gives us night elf looks like complete oh and a highborn scroll as well now are you going to aggro? yeah I thought you would and look at that they're grey they're grey how awesome is that? Anyway, we shall now put our hat on, and we shall solve a night of mystery, a string of Paul, Sm Paul, Smink, Paul Smink pearls, or otherwise known as small pink pearls. Solve. Ha ha! So, now we shall take off, and see if our archaeology gives us anything else. Now it's just going to be a fish school, isn't it? Yep. <sighs> oh. Right, there's a few over at Howling Fjord. Right. Okay, uh, so if we go north So we've also now got our archaeology up to 458, which is a nice, nice number to have. I just love archaeology. Right, so where is it trying to take me at the moment? Yeah, that's cool. Just keep on following this, make sure I'm well above the lines keep. Just fly, fly, fly until we get somewhere where I think we can get here to um, a flat path to Vengeance Landing.
you will notice the more eagle-eyed of you that I do have. Uh, quests in Mount Hygel, which are level appropriate uh, for the Cataclysm expansion, uh, where you can go to Mount Hygel or Vashir. The idea being that you are seeking to uh, work once more with the elementals and stop Ragnaros and the aspect of Death Dragon. Death, Deathwing. Uh, so that's where sort of most of the levelling will be going on, but before I, I do that I want to get my mining skill up because um, in that area we are now uh, mining obsidian and that is nuggets which isn't the best uh, but it also means that uh, my mining skill can do with some work and smelting is adamantium and corium so we really want to do better if we can. Right, so this is where we hope that said stable master can get us to Helmingfjord and Vengeance Landing. Time is money, friend. Yeah, well, it's Helmingfjord, and it is Vengeance Landing. Awesome. Because that'll take us over the areas we're looking at, and it means that I can sit back and show them. And we also managed to travel over Dragon Blight without getting attacked by pesky blasted dragons who want to take you out of the sky, which was an issue last time we were in Dragon Blight. So we've still got schools of fish. And as you can see, it's taken us right out of the way of most of Dragon Blight where he did so much levelling. Now the thing is, we only have five levels to complete in Cataclysm and with the way archaeology has been going if we can get the next three uh, dig sites completed in a relatively fast time, I would not be surprised to see archaeology taking us up to level 81. Which would be awesome. Again, there are things in Cataclysm that we won't have time to raise uh, in terms of reputation purely because by the time we manage to get to the point where the reputation is necessary we are going to be a higher level which carries us through to Pandaland and then Warlords of Draenor. Now, given the fact that Pandaland, the Pandaria, is only five levels as well, uh, Panda Pandaria will be all new content, so I won't be doing any archaeology to begin with there until I know my way around quite a bit more. So probably won't be like this, level 80. Um, things here are either just above or just over level 70 because they're the starting areas. Howling Fjord won't be much different because that's the undead landing area. Um, so I should be higher level than uh, the creatures on the uh, start of the expansion. So going and doing archaeology and things like that in uh, Pandaria would probably be the way to do it. 
until I get to all of the drain or when I start doing Dranic ores and all the rest of it. But yeah, then again, you see, I've only got 10 levels of that before I then start on the Broken Isles stuff. And it isn't until we get to level 110 where I will then be able to turn around and go, right, this is maxing out this, maxing out that, maxing out the other. And that's where we max out the skill levels. And then we move in on to the skill levels as it is with regards to the new content for Legion because if you've been listening to the uh, posts and everything else uh, by other channels there is going to be a star system much like other JRPGs where they have like Monster Hunter where you had a star rating system for certain bits and pieces and if you did a certain star rating quest you expected to get certain goods and you had to slowly but surely build up uh, both your star levels and your XP in, in other areas and things like that. Now that looked quite interesting because that looked to me like there was some cobalt or something else there. So the Galaborn, which is where you've got lots of undead by the looks of it. And I would imagine they would be Arthas's Scourge rather than the um, Forsaken Undead, which is the Horde side Undead. So remember, Scourge is bad, for Forsaken not so bad, uh, misunderstood, possibly evil, we don't know. Um, but they are siding with the Horde at the moment, uh, so we'll see how things go. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how things play out with Sylvanas as War Chief. Um, looks like there'll be a bit more mining there. Oh, too slow to find out what it was. But as we go over here, oh, that's four. So that's even better than I anticipated. So there you can see the archaeology spots, and they're quite small, so they should be able to get done quite quickly. Which does lead me to believe that we will be seeing level 81 in short order. Which is awesome. Now, this video is going to end up being... Hey, Cobalt! Uh, this video will more than likely end up being too long for VidMe but it will fit perfectly into the YouTube videos that I've been doing so far. So we'll come to a rest here. We're going to ignore the quests because they're now going to be pretty much low level quests. And we're mostly interested in the 6,100 XP per throw for archaeology. And it's going to be interesting to see where they are and who for. So we get some XP for exploration, because we're finding places that we've not been to before. Discovered how in field. And up. First, and then we'll go in an anti clockwise direction <laughs> so that we're moving from Vengeance Landing away. So, what delights do we have in store here? This is the southernmost one. And this is where we're actually facing the live um, servants. Uh, the not the Valkyrie. Oh, I can't remember what they're bleeding called now. Um, Dragonfly hunting hound. 
Dragonfly Warrior. Yeah, I've forgotten what their actual t what their actual class is because uh, I'll be like the Mist Warriors. Only these aren't undead; these are living. So as we slid down the slope there, and we really just want to be around the corner, don't we? If we can, but getting hung up on the scenery. And ta da! That's our first piece. And it is Verkal. That's the word I was looking for. So, this is another new. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that didn't give me pause for thought, honest. Ah! Dogs are running at me! Right, so, these are the Verkal. And we started to get vocal artifacts, so we will just wander through here because my threat radius is so low. I'll just dump you on the floor and oh look at that. Pretty darn close. So we shall kill the warrior. We shall turn in that direction and we shall stop about here. Ah, oh, excellent. And for those that you're watching this, no, I have not added the audio on afterwards. This is as I'm playing. So the fact that I managed to get virtually spot on there was nothing short of awesome for me. And some. There's a fang tooth herring school beneath me somewhere. Will you get out of the guild chat? Um, right, so we shall take wing and fly in a straight line over here. It's red, so I'll ditch it just before this cliff. See what the cliff has to say. Just as well I stayed there, because that's yellow. So we'll try here. Voila! And another dog runs at me for no reason. Even better. Number four. So as you can see the XP is ramping up with this, as well as my archaeologist got an even better, we've got a yellow so that's going to be roughly around the top end of this bluff as well. So we come around here and come up here and we'll try here. Look at that. It's almost like I know what I'm doing. which would be fine, apart from the fact that I don't. Right, so... Last one. As quickly as that, we have got through f nearly 40,000 XP. Which is quite phenomenal. Yes, it's with rest XP as well, but even so it's not to be sniffed at in terms of uh, levelling. Because if you think about it, getting that level 80 start in a new area where you're the weakest of the weak, and then suddenly just getting that level 81 and bingo, you're a lot happier. Can make a lot of difference. And that's a vocal rune stick as well, so According to the Verkle, 40 out of 45. We do have a rune stick, so I'll put one in. And Thorned Necklace, and solve. Yay! And we take to wing, and early up. We should be looking about that way. So, 469. That's a nice jump, isn't it? 29 points. 
we were 446. So 23 points. And this is the next one. So are you Virgil too? Or are you someone else? Winter School. So you're probably Virgil as well. Bailheim. Right, so we start off a little bit more forbidding. We'll hop up to the top of the cliff. And it's now yellow, so we'll go in this direction. And here. Seeing there's a drag draconic thing there. That will do nicely. So there's another vocal rune stick. And seven fragments. Try here. Nicely done. And all of a sudden, we are halfway through a second dig site. It creeps upon you that quickly, where it's kind of like, right, do this, do that, do the other, and... Holy heck, I'm 30,000 XP up. Which I think is an awesome way to be, to be completely honest with you. In terms of levelling up and actually going out and doing stuff. This... Ooh, 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 right, okay. Um... That's not to be sniffed at. That looked like there's a cobalt over there. Cobalt? Cobalt. Over there. So I must remember that directly behind me it looks like there's a cobalt. To a mine. Mm, this is still leading me a merry go in, so we've got. Let's get up here, fly over there. Drop down over here and go... Try here, please. That wasn't a bad guess, was it? Now, is it actually going to be in the home? No, it's going to be outside. It's going to be something like here, isn't it? Bang on top. And we're going back this way. Up the long side. Is that cobalt? No, that's a fangs with herring skull. So we shall swift purple wind rider master over the top. Landing about here. And see where that pulls us. And as luck would have it, it puts us kind of in the right direction for whatever this is. But it's going to be fish, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be fish. Fang tooth herring. Right, so survey says yellow. You know what? We're going to do a bit of fishing just for the hell of it. Why not? No, no, we won't. We'll do that afterwards. That can be another video. That can be that can be a fishing fails video. Uh, Archaeology. That's number five. And one more. 
and it look has smiled on us because it's going to give us one. See the bear hero at the top of the hill. Yeah, it's just going to be at the top here. Oh no, that was. We've got one more to go after this. Okay, so now we're five out of six. That's even better because that's another six thousand. I'm not going to complain. I am certainly not going to complain if I'm there going, oh, we've got this many. And in fact, to find out we need another one. Uh, not going to complain. Not when it's 6,000 XP up for grabs. Interesting. Oh, no, okay. Fair enough. So, that's Verkal dig site completed, and another Verkal rune stick. So, when we go to go to the Verkal, we've got 49 out of 45 and two sticks. So, we shall have a Flint Striker, thank you. And that's 479. So we now climb across top of Trusty Steed once more, and another one's opened up. So there was four here, uh, but I've completed two, and another one's turned up. I did say we go anti-clockwise, that's still kind of within the rotation, from the bottom to the top. So yes. I think you can say this will take us from level 80 to 81. And you can see that when you get to this level, it gives you some nice um, side benefits to levelling. Right, so we found Utgard Keep. Now, Utgard Keep is one of the dungeons that you'd run for Wrath of the Lich King. And we're just beyond that. Looks like we're in this red bit of forest here. And there we've got some more of Imperial Fangfish, Fangtooth, Herring, yep. Hal Halgrind. And that is Cobalt. Yay! So we've got crystal either to this land or water. And we're just not inside enough there to do this, so... Ooh! Ooh! These are a little bit more handy. Even though they're still grey. I don't have a target. Hello. Survey says yellow. Survey says green. Wow, okay, I'm dropping them in one shot with my... Uh, that's fair enough. Let's get them out of the way, and look at that. More Verkle. I don't mind. In fact, the more I do where this is all Verkle, because the Verkle are new to me, it means that all these new ones are going to count towards the achievement for the number of... Um, number of ones that I've done that are all unique. You've got to do so many unique um, archaeological finds. So having all Verkle means they're all going to be new. Okay. So much for my reduced threat level here. I 
can't even loot them. Tut, tut, tut. So, as we go on... And then when we get to level 81 we will end the video, and thank you for watching. Because at the end of the day this one is going to be called Appreciating Archaeology. Because I think I need to target really has first. to be done, doesn't it? When archaeology has done this much for you. Yellow. Still yellow, so... This way a bit. There you go, you don't even have to bother getting yourselves up, boys. I'll make sure that you don't do it for yourselves. And just over here. It's a nice, lovely, noxious gas or something I just ran into. And is that cobalt? Yes, it is. So, we've got some cobalt to look forward to as well. Top end. Got a few maggots and postulating things, and you can tell that the the undead of the horde have been experimenting with something. And we find. Green. Excellent. So what's that? That's now, that is now five. So we are... <laughs> oh no, that's four. I've done it again. Counting four when it's in fact five. So 12,200 XP to still gain from... Oh, look at that for accidental. Now it's five. And that'll do nicely as well. Okay, okay. Huzzah! Level 81. It's the Stone Core and the Vortex Pinnacle. We shall have a look. Verkel, 46 out of 45. Solve. And that's the scram sex. So we shall now fly up here. Ha ha! Away! And follow that gold arrow for a little bit, because up near the top should be some cobalt. Providing somebody else hasn't nicked it. No, they haven't. have it. Leveling through archaeology. I thank you very much for watching. I hope that you've liked what you've seen here. And we are now 20% of the way through the content for Cataclysm, even though you've not seen any of it. So, if you like what you were doing, then please like and subscribe. I am, as always, at Voice of the Forge. And if you want to contact me, you can either contact me on here, on vid.me, player.me, or on uh, Twitter, all with Voice of the Forge as a name. Thank you very much and good night.